what, you, what you're making, my Allah? Why are you making mockery of God? See, this is making a mockery of God Almighty in this book. And you say, this is Allah's book. Allah writing that. He's telling you to write that. He's write cherubs, cherub little, little girls. He's writing them around. Uh, he couldn't do what the Superman does. Astaghfirullah. فَوَيْلُوا لِلَّذِينَ يَكْتُبُونَ الْكِتَابَ بِعِيدِهِمْ ثُمَّ يَكُلُونَ حَزَ مِنْ إِنْدِ اللَّهِ Then God Almighty, in the book of Isaiah, He tells His prophet, Isaiah, that he must go about naked. Absolutely naked. Not even a G-string. You know that little, little, little <laughs> jock straps you wear? Not even that. No, no, no. He said he must go about naked for three years. He must run around in front of his mother, his daughter, his sisters, everybody. He goes around and a prophet of God, God Almighty, made him to go about naked for three years. You believe that? That Allah does that? He says in the Holy Quran, He says, Qul, tell them, Inna Allah la ya'muru bil fahsha. Allah does not command anything shameful. This is a shameful thing. Telling his prophet that he, this is what he must do, go about naked. And he commands another prophet. In the book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 3, he says, Behold, I will corrupt your seed and spread dung upon your faces. You know what's dung? What about human dung? What do you call that? This is talking about human dung, not cow dung. Spread dung upon your faces. Allah will do that on your faces. Even the dung of your solemn feast. And one shall take you away with it. Then Ezekiel chapter 4 verse 12 says, And thou shalt eat it as barley cakes. He's telling his prophet. Allah is telling his prophet. To eat that thing what he's going to make now as barley cakes. And thou shalt bake it with dung that cometh out of man in their sight. What you see from fresh, fresh, fresh stuff. Not the thing that's dried up. <laughs> not the dried up one. What you see fresh that's come out of man. That dung, you must bake it with that and you must eat it. Who? His Prophet. Allah is telling His Nabi to do that. Allah says, Inna Allah la ya'muru bil fahsha. Allah doesn't command anything shameful. <laughs> then He tells another Prophet, Hosea. Then the Lord said to me, He says, Allah told him, Go again, love a woman who is a lover by a lover, an adulteress. Allah tells him, Go and get a wife of adultery. Zina, zani. Go and marry an adulteress, committing adultery. Just like the love of the Lord for the children of Israel, who took other gods and loved to raise them to Inna Allah la ya'muru bil fahsha. And Allah barit Allah, he eats also broiled fish and honeycomb. You know that? He eats fatted calves. This is what Sharush, you know, in the last debate, if you see that, he tells. He said, you see, Ibrahim alayhi salam was sitting and he sees three Angels appeared, three persons, they appeared, they materialized, like what you've seen in Star Trek, Star Trek, you know the people in the spaceship, they, they dematerialize in the spaceship and they appear on some planet, and from there they disappear and they appear again in the spaceship. So three angels, they appeared. So Ibrahim alayhi salam, thinking that they were visitors, so he goes to them and says, look man, come, 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 you know, I'll wash your feet and I want to be hospitable to you. So they come inside, they sit down. And Ibrahim alayhi salam tells one of his servants, the fatted calf, the nice fat calf, kill it. And he takes his, he gives some flour and some butter to his wife, he says, come on, quickly, quickly, bake some cakes. And he set the table. And, and they act. Who at? He said, God Almighty, Allah. Shurushas, when he said, Lord, that means God, Jehovah, and the two angels, they act. Paid barkar khana khaya. They filled themselves. And then the two went to Sodom and Gomorrah, the angels to destroy, and God went his way. He walked away. What does the Quran say? You see, he said, Allah Baritala tells you that look, the three angels came to Ibrahim alayhi salam. Confirming that. The Quran confirms. And Ibrahim alayhi salam took all the trouble to set the table. And they sat down to eat. And Ibrahim alayhi salam said, Bismillah, get started. And they're not eating, says the Quran. They're just staring at Ibrahim alayhi salam. And Ibrahim alayhi salam gets terrified. 
naturally. You, if you have visitors, come to your house, you do everything, prepare the table, and you tell them, Bismillah, get started. And they're just looking at you. The fear. So maybe they have evil intention. Maybe they want to steal his wife. Maybe they want to kill him, rob him. So he's terrified. Why is it that the people are not eating? So they say in the Quran, Allah says that they said that we are the angels of the Lord and we don't eat. There the Bible says, Allah act and the angels act. So Allah says, Qul, tell them, Aghayr Allah wa attakhizu waliyan. Say, am I going to take anyone other than Allah as my Lord and protector? Fatir samawati wal ard, when he is the creator of the heavens and the earth. When it is he who feeds, but is not fed. They say, Allah eats. The Quran says, Allah only he feeds you, but he doesn't eat. This is not his. Angels don't eat. God doesn't eat. These are the qualities of man. What's wrong with you? No. So, correction. My dear brethren, you know there is so much... Let me end this talk, give you people an opportunity to ask questions. In the ayah I began, uh, let me end with the ayah from Surah Bani Israel, that is chapter 17, ayah number 88. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Qul, tell them. La in jitama'atil insu wal jinnu, ala an ya'tu bi mithli hadhal Quran. Say, tell them that if the whole of jinns and mankind, if they were to gather together to, to produce a like of this Qur'an, they will never be able to produce a like thereof. Even if they help one, backed up each other with help and support. This book is Allah's book. And there is nothing like it that anybody can produce. We Muslims must become conversant with this book of Allah. Get a translation. I know the direct is Arabic. If you understood, I understood. It will be the best. The second best is through a translation. Get a translation and acquaint yourself with what Allah says and share it with our fellow countrymen, our neighbors, our friends, our employees or our employers. Share it with them. Thank you, Brother Ahmad Dirat. There was a message sent to the stage earlier. I could not interrupt the talk. It says that the following cars will be towed away. A brown Datsun, CA149702. A green Datsun, CA409028. A Toyota Avante, CA575236. If you are the owner, please attend to it. Ladies and gentlemen, you have heard how Brother Ahmad dealt with the topic on which is God's word, the Quran or the Bible. The hall is very full, but we have a microphone placed in front of the stage. If you wish to put a question pertaining to what was said, then please come to the microphone. I beg of you that I'm here to control the meeting and I would like to say to those people who are perhaps not coming to put a question that whoever comes to put a question should be afforded the opportunity and the dignity and the honor of having his question put in a civil manner and without any interference. I would stop you if you interfere with him. But likewise, this is not a debate, it was a lecture. And I did say at the start that you are entitled to come and put a question. Please, I would not like to stop you against your wishes. But if you come to give a lecture, then I'm going to stop you. And please put one question at a time. And if there are more than one person, then you put one question at a time and go back to the end of the queue. It's pretty awkward. Please facilitate matters. If people want to get to the microphone, please let them do so. Thank you.
I, you see, this was, some people are unfortunate that they didn't hear a thing which Mr. Didat said. They only watched his actions. Because I'm convinced that a number of the people can't hear. I've asked earlier on that the lady...